200,000 distributors globally. I've known her for quite some time and she's just been amazing. So please give it up for Diamond Director, Paula Pritchard. Paula. Thank you, Dre. Thank you so much. It's so, uh, it's so nice to be here with everyone. And Ian, you did a great job. I really enjoyed uh, listening to you. And um, anyway, I, I want to congratulate everyone for, yeah. for blocking out this time it. to learn whatever you need to learn about uh, how to build a network marketing business. My uh, background is college teaching. And uh, as Dre said, I was going to graduate school. I was working on finishing up my PhD when I was introduced to network marketing. And uh, when people say they're really busy, I think to myself, uh, I was really busy. I mean, I was uh, teaching full time. I was going to grad school at night. I was, uh, the university had asked me to coach uh, their uh, varsity uh, sports team. I was a really busy person. But you know, because I, I was in the in education field and, um, and I thought, you know, education was primary to me. So I thought to myself, when I got involved in network marketing, all I needed to do was just learn, 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 learn. So I would uh, listen to every training. I would record uh, trainings. I would transcribe them. I would memorize them. Um, I realized uh, early on that recruiting was important. So uh, I would ask, you know, the top people uh, recruiting questions so that I could learn more and be better at, um, at uh, recruiting. And uh, I would practice and practice and practice. And uh, I learned early on that I, I needed to learn from the people who were where I wanted to be. So those were the people I sought out. That was the uh, education I was getting. But you know, down the road as I started to really help people and I started to really understand this business more, Education is not enough. Knowledge is not enough. You know, I, I realized um, that, you know, not only do you have to learn, um, not only do you have to learn, but you also have to um, act. You have to put action behind it. But I realized that, that, and I wanted to talk about taking charge of yourself because I realized that, you know, that was the missing ingredient. You know, I've said so many times, that there are a lot of very learned, broke people in network marketing because they learned everything. In fact, there's some of them that even go out and write books, but it doesn't mean they did it. And uh, I realized that the real variable in success was you. I realized in my success, the real variable was me. And part of that variable had to do with the psychological factors. In other words, we all have certain fears that hold us back. We all have certain self doubt that holds us back. Um, some of us, you know, have uh, other kinds of issues. I, no one likes rejection. And sometimes rejection can lay you out flat and, have, you know, make it hard for you to get up again. And so it was, it was the psychological issues that I learned to overcome. And I wanted to try today to maybe give you a simple formula, um, focus on maybe four things that could help you maybe take charge of yourself and in the process, maybe take charge of your business. So let me start with uh, my first slide, which is decision. And you know, this is important uh, that you make a decision that you're going to build this business. Now understand, this is a different kind of decision. It's an irreversible decision. You make decisions every day and then you change your mind, do something else and, and, and you know, uh, or change courses or whatever. I'm not talking about that kind of decision. I'm talking about an irreversible decision. I had that experience and, and people who have heard my story know that there was a time when I was sitting in my car in front of Dunkin' Donuts eating a chocolate donut and it was at a time when I was so frustrated. I was so, my, my motivation was I was so fed up with not being successful in network marketing that I was going to quit. And then I looked at myself in the rear view mirror and I realized that, you know, I'd have to look at myself from this point on as a quitter. And so I made the decision at that point and it was irreversible. In other words, there was no way out. I was not going to quit. 
no matter what. So I left myself no outs. I made the decision that I was going to build this business. Now, what I want you to understand is when you make a decision, there's usually a prerequisite to that decision. Something has to happen to you to make you make an irreversible decision to build a network marketing business and leave yourself no outs. I had decided I was going to be at the top of this business and I called it the top of the mountain or I was going to be dead on the side, but I wasn't going to turn back and I wasn't going to quit. And so that prerequisite for some people is they listen to someone, a speaker of some sort, and um, what happens is they're, they're really excited and that makes them make that decision. Or maybe they listen to somebody that inspires them and they, they make the decision, I'm going to do this no matter what. But for some of us, it's, it's, some, it's something different. The prerequisite was a turning point and it usually came from a negative feeling. In other words, maybe you need to lose weight and you went into your closet and you couldn't fit into your favorite pants. And you were so mad and you were so fed up that you said, I've had it, I'm going to go on a diet. You know, for me, it was, I was so fed up because it wasn't working. You know, for some people, you know, maybe it comes from seeing someone that you're hanging out with advance and leave you behind. Oh, that, that happened to me and I could tell you that was such a frustrating experience. Um, maybe it's because you see other people uh, traveling and you're left behind at home. You know, whatever it is, you need to make a decision and it needs to be irreversible. And let, let, let me tell you something, indecision is deadly. Indecision is misery. You know, do you know that indecision is one of the major causes of depression in this world? And when you have depression, which I had uh, at the time that I made my decision, once I made the decision, it's like my, my mood was lifted. So, in, you know, another major cause of depression is not living up to your own expectations. For me, at that time when I made the decision, I was not living up to what I thought I was capable of doing. And it was causing me to be depressed. But I will tell you one, one thing about decision is, is as bad as indecision is, indifference is even worse. Indifference is that complacency, that ho-hum ho attitude where it's like, well, everybody else is at the same pin level. Everybody else is where I'm at. Therefore, you know, I'm comfortable, you know, and you don't want anybody to advance right now because then you might be uncomfortable. So, you know, don't be stuck in indifference and don't be stuck in indecision. The second thing I want to talk about is uh, discipline. You know, I really believe discipline is one of the key components to success in business. I really do. It's making your plan, how many, how many calls you're going to make or how many contacts you're going to make, making that plan and sticking with it. You know, understand that discipline needs to become a habit. In, um, you know, when we have willpower and we, we make a decision, a lot of that comes from our conscious mind. But discipline and habits come from our subconscious mind. Our subconscious mind is the mind that drives the car, that rides the bicycle. It's, you don't have to think. You're just, you know, it's automatic. In other words, the circuit has been created and you're following that circuit. You have to make the decision of what you're going to do and then discipline yourself to make so many contacts, so many calls, put your plan together. And it's much easier to make this plan when you're excited, when the emotion is high. If you don't do it then, what happens is a week later, you know, the emotion's not as high or a month later, the passion starts to turn cold, um, you know, or a year later, you can't even find it anymore. This is called the law of diminishing intent. Jim Rohn used to talk about that all the time. So you need to take action when the action's hot. And just like the prerequisite, you know, sometimes, you know, you're, you're aggravated about something or you're inspired that made you make that decision. You have to recycle that as well. In other words, I would, you know, if I would constantly be reading books of success and listen to other people's stories. And that would get me back where I was at that prerequisite time when I made the decision. I'm constantly trying to keep myself in the game mentally. But discipline is critical. And you know what the greatest thing about discipline is? The greatest thing is it builds your self-esteem and your self-worth. Think about it. 
think about the last time you you were disciplined enough to stay on that diet and then when you lost that weight didn't you feel good about yourself didn't wasn't your self-esteem higher your self-worth higher sure it was that's the benefit that comes from discipline but when you when you start to put the plan together it needs to be your daily method of operation and you stick to it i don't care if it's raining outside if it's snowing outside i don't care if you have the flu i don't care what the excuse is there is no excuse to not do what you said you were going to do that day you don't want to fall behind okay the next one would be if somebody there it is is to duplicate you know one of the biggest mistakes that network marketers make is to not think that duplication is important I'm going to tell you it is extremely important duplication means you do the same thing day in and day out you do the same trainings you do the same opportunity meetings you don't do a lot of variation you keep it the same so that your people can learn it even if it's by osmosis you know this is the key secret to the success of franchises McDonald's Arby's Burger King they have a duplicatable success system and they stick to it what you can't afford to do is let your ego get in the way to make you the issue in other words you know I see so many people say well I've got to do something a little bit different because people you know they're bored with me doing the training the same way or they're bored with me doing the opportunity meeting the same way I'm going to add a few things just to liven it up or to add sparks or something you know and it's our ego talking you know I, I used to take myself doing a presentation and I find sometimes that every month I needed to tape it to make sure I wasn't adding a lot of fat in other words that that I didn't need to add I needed to stay on point do it the same I got to be it got to be the point I did it the same so often that it was uh, it was like I could be thinking of my grocery list while I'm doing it because I it was just automatic coming out of my mouth and then finally the uh, the fourth one would be to dedicate and you know people say what do you mean dedicate I says dedicate to helping other people become successful make that your mission make that more important than what happens to you because if you it's just like Zig Ziglar said you know if you help enough other people become successful you don't have to worry about yourself but I've always said you know it's not how many times you're on the stage it's how many times your people are on the stage that's the key to success you know if you're on the stage all the time and you don't have your people on the stage that means that you have built a one-man business a one-woman business you know you are the issue you know the more the more your people are succeeding the more successful you're going to become but you got to dedicate yourself to that you got to roll up your sleeves and embrace your people's goals as if they're your own embrace their success you know get involved partner up with them let them know that them being successful is just as important to you as it is to them and then embrace their goals so you know I hope these four things are important I just I just want to say this to you you know you need to, to grab hold of this and first of all make a decision go ahead and make a decision and don't base it on if so-and-so does this or so-and-so does that you need to make your decision based on something burning inside of you and it doesn't even have to make sense it's not important if other other people think you can do it who cares about other people if the dream is big enough the facts don't count there isn't any problem that any of you have out there that 20 people wouldn't solve 20 new people wouldn't solve you know I teach that in my business 20 people on the right 20 people on the left uh, I, I believe in it I have built a business from scratch where I had a left team and a right team that was at zero I had sponsored no one and my goal was to put 20 down one side and 20 down the other and I was able to make it to the top of that company so I know that it doesn't matter where you are if you have more than than uh, zero in your teams then hey you're better than me you're in a better position than me you know you can do this thing you know I, I uh, years ago I uh, there was a, a journalist her name was Ann Curry and she was on the Today Show and um, I remember she made this one quote and I was so impressed with it I wrote it down and I want to share it with you she said do what you can for others so that when your life comes to an end you will know 
that it mattered that you were here. See, this business is so much bigger uh, than yourself. You know, there's a reason that you're here. And sometimes you never know the reason straight away up front. Sometimes you don't find out that reason until you've lived a long life. But I will say to this to you, whether you decide to really dig in and do the business, no quitting, no way out, it, like you crack the egg, you can't put it back together. If you make the decision to do it, or even if you make the decision not to do it, I will tell you this. There will be so many lives out there that um, you will have impacted and, or not impacted that you don't even realize. Had I quit back when I was at that point of quitting? I mean, there's so many lives, so many people that I would have missed so many successes I would have not been a part of. I've helped so many people get out of debt. I've helped so many people get out of jobs they hated. I've helped so many people change their lives. And I now know what, what my mission was. I know what the reason that I was, I was uh, encouraged to say yes, to make that irreversible decision. Because I can look at my life now and see the lives I've impacted. Don't let that feeling pass you by because that kind of joy is so unique. It's so, it's so incredible to help be a part of changing other people's lives. So I wish you the best, onward and upward, one, one team, one family, one Jeunesse. Thank you so much. Paula, thank you so much for that. I mean, I just loved it about discipline. I remember growing up, you know, my mom raised me and my sister to always make the bed. And when we did not make the bed, I would arrive home from school with my, litter, my mattress overturned. So <laughs> that actually disciplined me growing up to always make my bed. So thank you for that. Now guys, listen, if you're enjoying this expo, I wanna see all tens in the chat box right now. All right? I see a few. All right. So listen guys, of course we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, so I want you guys to get out your phones right now, alright, I'm going to get out mine, and I want you to go on Instagram, Facebook, and hashtag Jeunesse Expo 11, and tag me, I know, I know Scott Lewis is everywhere, his face is plastered everywhere, but let's, let's get me in there, so let's, let's do a quick pause, hashtag, and get my face out there. So I can go back, call Scott, and be like, look who's, look who's out there in the world right now. Got it? Awesome. All right, guys. So this has been an incredible expo. Of course, you can always go back online to replay these. I mean, we've had some amazing speakers so far. We still have an incredible event going on today, tonight. We have star sessions. We have awards. We just have some, some amazing content going. So if you guys are ready for this, put tens. And I know when Lee comes next in January, hopefully we're going to be live, which I, I really hope. But if we're not, then we're going to rock it again for another virtual event. So if you guys love what you're seeing, give me, give, give me one more 10. Man, that's showing me so much love today. So like I said, you know, we just appreciate everything you guys do for us. That's why we love putting on these amazing events. I'm so happy to see all of my, not all of my colleagues, but a good majority of them in our building today. You know, it's been about four months since we've all been here. We've all done our COVID tests. We're all healthy. We've done some fist pumps. I've done a few hugs. Just incredible, just incredible. So listen guys, coming up next, we'll have my amazing brother, Todd Hard Talk, someone that I talk to basically every other day. You know, he stays rocking it, he stays crushing it. Just an amazing team. So, you know. I like that music, DJ. Turn it up for me. <laughs> All right, guys. So, don't forget, we have today, then we have tomorrow. So, our next speaker is a big family man who has given so many tips, especially to me in my early fatherhood. He just adores his wife and his two sons. 
He's a full-time professional networker, and in spite of his already success, he's always willing to be a student, and that's one of the key things that I've learned from him. Success is a real journey, and to speak on this topic, please welcome to the stage my friend, Diamond Director, Todd Hartog. No worries, guys. No worries. So got, right now, we're having a few technical difficulties, but Todd will be on stage soon. I know you guys have seen a lot of me, but you're going to see a lot more of me later on today. So just be ready. So, guys, of course, you can go on JeunesseExpo.com. Um, you can see our agenda. You can see all of our amazing speakers along with the topics. So if you have a, a, a favorite speaker or anything like that, you can always go on and see. We have our Spanish master classes happening. We have our Chinese master classes happening. We have so many master classes happening like right now. So guys, 